Hi everyone, this is Michael from Blue Sky Bio. In today's tutorial video, I will demonstrate how to duplicate a denture if you have a printer that prints in two colors. I have a separate tutorial video on how to duplicate a denture if you're going to be printing the teeth separately and the gingiva base separately. But in this tutorial, the process flow is a bit simpler as we're going to be printing one denture with two different colors. So there are three main steps to this tutorial. We're going to be using different functionality from different parts of the software in order to get this done. Now this entire process of duplicating the denture will be half of an export per jaw. We're going to start the process with the first step in the orthodontics module and we're going to use the orthodontics module to separate the teeth from the gingiva. So we're going to start by clicking orthodontics, aligners, and import models. We're going to demonstrate the process flow for a single jaw with a single model. So I'm going to start by navigating to the location of the denture on my computer. And let's select the lower jaw and then click OK. Mandible, we can name the patient and then continue to draw alignment. The software has now identified and annotated the teeth. We could just make sure that in general, we have a node on the outside buccal edges of each tooth. If we need to modify, we could just grab a node and just place in the proper spot. And then we could click continue to teeth segmentation. Now we're going to be using the liner process flow essentially to separate the teeth from the gingiva. So throughout most of the process flow, we're just going to click next, next, next until we get to the export stage where we could export the teeth separated from the gingiva. Now at this stage, we do want to confirm the shape of the teeth as this will be the actual shape of the teeth. If there's any point we want to make a modification, just left click on the tooth to activate it. You could grab and drag any of the nodes or just hold down your shift key and use your left mouse button to grab and drag and just to redraw that curve. Now what we also want to do is we want to make sure that between every two teeth the curve overlap so that they have a shared edge and we can do that just by grabbing and dragging one node into another node and we want to do this because we want to make sure that the teeth end up as one STL file and not separate files. So I'm going to do that here as well. Just drag over the nodes onto each other and you could see that they now have a share of the border. Here we can improve the positioning a bit. Okay, once we're done with this, let's do it right here. Okay, very good. Once we're done with this, we're just going to click continue to model trimming. Now, for our purposes, we don't want to trim the model, so we just click the box don't trim mandible, and we click continue to teeth moving. Okay, so during our aligner process flow, this is the stage where we could optimize the teeth positioning and create the digital tooth setup. If we do want to modify any of the placement of the teeth, we could just act, left click on the tooth to activate the widget and just actually move the tooth. Otherwise, we're going to keep everything exactly the way it is now, and we're just going to click Continue to Edit Steps. Now we see we have two steps, the initial position and the final position. Since we made no change to the digital tooth setup, they are exactly the same. And we're going to confirm that we have export models only selected, and then continue to export. Now the software here has automatically added a base for vertical printing. Just right click on the base and click remove. Before we actually do the export, just go to tools, preferences, orthodontics. Now you only need to do this once and it will be saved. Scroll straight down to the bottom and make sure you have separated models only and that will export the teeth as one model and the model base as another model. In a normal aligner situation, we would just export no separated models and that will be one file, one model for the export. And if you want both, if you want the single file plus the separated files, then just click separated models extra and select that. For our purposes, we're going to click separated models only. 
and click OK. We are now going to click Export. This is just a reminder verification if you have to add a vertical base to add a platform for vertical printing. For us, it's not relevant. And if you want to emboss or engrave a model name or patient number, if you do want to do that, you could use the label tool right over here to emboss or engrave. We're going to click now, yes, proceed to export. If you don't want this to come up anymore, simply click don't show again. We're going to navigate to the desktop, new folder. Let's call this denture. Let's just call this denture separated export. That's our folder. Click OK. And if I go to denture separated export on my desktop and click separate the models, we have four files, one for the initial position and one for the final position. In our situation, they're exactly the same as we did not move any teeth. If you did move with teeth, then use the files with the highest number. That will reflect the final teeth positioning. And we could see that for each stage, we have separate files for the gingiva and separate files for the teeth. Okay, so we've now completed step one of the process. Step two and three are significantly faster. At this point, if we want to save the BSP file, we could go ahead and do that. The STL files for the teeth and denture base have already been exported and saved. So I'm going to close out from here and I'm not going to save changes. And now I'm going to launch the model master. Import models, navigate to the folder that we created, denture separated export within separated models, take the files with the highest number, hold down the shift key to multi-select, and then click OK. We're going to skip the alignment process because the files were oriented in Blue Sky Plan and then exported. They're imported back with the same proper orientation. So we're going to click Skip Alignment. And we can now see our two files appearing on screen. We could go over to the Surfaces panel and see each one separately. If you don't have the relevant panels visible on, your, on the right side of your screen, go over to the Panels dropdown. And right over here, you could select the panel as you need it. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to close the holes in the denture base. So I'm going to hide the teeth, go over to model edit and confirm you have this, the relevant model selected and click close all holes. Okay, we now have our surface and the holes have been closed. We are now going to do the same, but for the teeth. So we're going to make the teeth visible. Go back to here and make sure it's selected in the drop down and click close all holes. Now this jumps quickly towards the end and you might think that it got stuck. I'm not sure why it does that, but just let it just leave it be and it will close the holes and then we'll go to 100%. Okay, so now we have our teeth closed. And I was actually mistaken, this is not a three-step process because we're printing it um, on a printer that prints two colors. We've essentially finished the process. We have one STL file for our teeth. We have a separate STL, STL file for the denture base. And these could be sent to the printer to print as one file, indicating to the printer which parts of the file should be printed with which color. So what we could do to export, we could go to File, Export Data, And here we can have the two files selected and export separated files to a folder. This will, when we click export, we could select a location, new folder, denture, export, let's just call it. And now what this will do, it will save two separate files to that folder. If we want to export it as one file, we could go back to export data and just uncheck the checkbox and then click export again. There is not an additional fee. And then we could combine denture. We could save again as one file. And of course we have the original denture file that we imported at the beginning of the process flow. So whatever combination of files we need to send to the printer, we have all of those available to print as one piece with two separate colors. As I mentioned at the beginning, I have a separate tutorial on how to 
create the relevant files. If you're printing two separate files and then combining them together using an adhesive to create a denture.